Hello guys and welcome to Divide A Para. So we are having a new update of the mod over here. We are having the beta update of the version 1.3.2. Um, and in this new version of the mod, we have some very interesting battle balance change. One of them is the phalanx change. Um, the phalanx units now we have less attack range and they will have less attack speed as well and um, it will definitely affect their performance in battle but what uh, exactly uh, over here i want to try to find out what exactly the hoplites and pies will perform uh, after the check so we will do some tests to find out right we'll try to run some tests between the previous version, the 1.3.1 version of the mod versus the 1.3.2 version of the mod and try to find out what the difference between the Hoplites and Pike uh, for performance in battle uh, in uh, the two versions. Okay, are we ready? Now, let's go. So in the first step, we try to use a tense hoplite versus a gladian sword unit, and we try to use a tile battle to prevent the unit wrapping around the hoplite unit. Um, everyone will fight in the front of the hoplite unit. Here is how the hoplite in the previous version, the 1.3.1 version, we performed against. A Galatian sword unit. Our general is under attack. So over here we can see a very clear victory for the Hoplite and the Hoplite they only take 73 um, casualty. Now we have the same unit 
uh, Athens Hoplite versus Galatian Suit Unit, but in the 1.2, 3.2 version of the mod. And let's see how it goes. Our general is under attack. The men are wavering. The enemy general is dead. So you can see over here, the so Hoplite can barely win and they take a lot more custody compared to uh, the previous version. Next, we will try Pikeman, um, a bronze shield pike unit versus the Galatian shootman. Let's see how it goes.
The enemy general is dead. Okay, so the pike can defeat the swordman very easily, and they should take uh, 15 casualty. Now let's try the pikes in the new version of the mod. Let's go. The enemy general. So you can see the pike can still defeat the swordman very easily. And we can really see a very big difference between uh, two versions of the mod. So in conclusion, the change to the flying unit has a greater effect on the hoplite unit compared to uh, the pikeman. Hoplite in the new version perform much worse than uh, the previous version when the pike man there are a very little difference between the two versions i think the reason why it happens because the hoplites they have a shorter range shorter attack range to begin with so when they get the nerve to the attack range their range will become short enough for the other enemy infantry can attack them, get into melee with hoplites very comfortably. That will reduce their force effectiveness greatly. As for the pikemen, they have a longer range, so even with the nerf to attack range, they can still maintain a long enough attack range to keep the enemy at bay. So we will not see a very big difference in the performance of the bike man between uh, the two versions all right so this will be the end of our test video for hoplites and pike in the new version of the mod divide Empire. thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video